Hello, welcome back. Today we're going to be creating another website and we're going to be doing another blog group as well as focusing on how to add those Wix groups apps to it. All right, let's get started. In the upper right hand corner, we're going to create a new website. We're going to allow it to load and then we shall continue. Okay, now Wix is asking us what website should this be? Of course, I'm going to choose blog. I'm going to choose the template and not the ADI. That way we can look at what we have. All right, so some choices here, but I'm going to leave it on all so we can kind of look at all of the blogs. Uh, there is a travel blog. Looks pretty cool. Well, let's take a look here. Going to... That looks pretty cool. Looks pretty simple. Some beautiful pictures already here. Okay, all right, yes, let's go ahead and work with this website. So we're going to allow it to load about one to three minutes and it shall begin. All right, now we have our template going. So of course, just like always, I kind of like to tweak the websites as we go just to kind of change them and to remind you of exactly how to do them. All right, this venue box, that's very hard to see for me. I want to design. We're going to design it just to taste. There we go. We'll make this. Mm -hmm. Customize designs. I'm going to do the color changes here. Mm, the text. I want to change the color. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. And I'm going to change the theme just to taste mm -hmm. not add red to this oh let's see there we go all right, now we're going to apply. And I'm going to... <laughs> there we go. And add that, and I'm going to... Uh oh, we seem to have lost this. We don't want to do that, so we're going to just right here, we're going to add it and apply it and there we go now we change that theme just there all right now jumping down let's come on let's look at everything it's pretty cool and i love to go to the pages and see what all they have so relax eat travel they have the blog here already all right perfect so i'm going to come down to the add apps select and allowing it to load so we can see the choices that we have. And coming down, all right. Here's the Wix blog, Wix events. You can set up Wix events for this one too, the forum that we have done. Uh, the chat box, I don't believe that there is a chat box. Let's check, there is a chat box here, perfect. All right, very good. All right, so I wanted to make sure I didn't see this earlier. Uh, coming down again. Okay, pretty. <laughs> a lot of these are free, uh, and they're very good to use for your sites. So they're really going to make it really easy. Here we go. Now we have the comments right here. Comments, reviews, testimonials for Wix. It's a free plan available. Uh, so there's a lot. I want to say there's a lot more free plans than there are for premium plans that you should pay for. Uh, so it's pretty cool uh, that they have this. So typically they usually have like very few uh, free plans, but uh, they have a lot of like paid plans. Well, here they don't, so it's super cool. So I would uh, really check them out and use them. All right, so let's hear, uh-huh. It's going to say, oh, we're gonna use your site info. Uh-huh, okay, I agree. All right, now we're going to add comments. And it's already loading, and I'm just going to it down here and place it right there. All right, we'll let it finish loading. 
and we're going to design uh, our comment section. All right, comments for Wix. Here we go. And we're just going to scroll on down. And that was our footer. So let's come up just a bit. There we go. Now I want to separate this just a taste. There we go. And I'm going to leave it. All right. Now, so when you click on it, you can, um, if you notice, when you click on here, you can change the footer design. This is what all of this is. Uh, but bring this up just a taste because it moved. And that's how I changed the footer design, but we're working on the comments. All right, so we're going to go to the settings of the comments. It's going to load. And you can just kind of see what it is. Now, you can go to Manage Comments, Settings, Design, and Support. So, uh, Manage Comments is going to take you to the dashboard where you, if you've seen in our previous videos, we were working with the forums. Well, uh, it's going to take you to that same dashboard, so you can do everything there from right here. All right, so going to settings, English language or the language that you can choose. Uh, what to display? Uh, so this is it in the comments right here. You can see now it's in the comments, blah, blah, blah. Uh, you can have the main title, welcome input field, and social media sharing as well. You can change this as well for the display, what it's going to show. All right, star rating reviews. Now, uh, we can also do the email notifications, so you'll get an email each time someone comments. It's pre pretty helpful, too, as well. All right. Your email for sending notifications to 3.132. We're going to say at gmail.com. And we can approve the comments or not approve the comments. So you can just have them just come here automatically without having to approve them or you can approve them yourself. Now you can actually notify other users about the replies here it's your choice as well. All right email notifications remaining five upgrade for unlimited notifications. Uh, now this is so you need to upgrade to the plan to make this more uh, but that's I mean, that's for you if you want, if not. So that's part of like the email marketing campaign. Uh, so, but premium package is really, really good as well. So if you do decide to pay for the premium package, you won't be uh, left disappointed. All right, comments per page. Uh, you can say between, well, one and a hundred here. Uh, should there be a like button for comments? I think yes. Enable comment replies, I have yes image attachments and you can disable commenting just right here so if someone is being very rude disrespectful uh, etc you can actually just kill it right there for everybody all right wix blog mode you can actually make it to where it's like blog your comments will be displayed on your on your live website all right now uh that is the settings now let's talk about the design of this feature. Alright, so the background, you can make the color for the background. Let's play with it just to taste. We can go with gray, green, all of these wonderful colors. Uh, custom colors, I want to add one. And let's see. I'm going to add here this color, and I'm going to leave it right there. That's pretty cool. I like the color. Alrighty, titles, heading to. Alright, the font picker, the theme that we have. Alright, we'll choose this one. And the fonts, we're going to go, let's look at some of the other fonts that they have. Usually I'm kind of hanging around with uh, Lobster, but I want to see what more they have to offer. Oh, that's pretty cool too. Kind of like that. Kind of like Lobster, but it's called Damien. Pretty cool. You can make the font a little bit bigger. It's already pretty bold, so I'm not going to make it bold. All right, clicking exit out. Uh, the button. The button's pretty close to the same color. 
Uh, I don't want the button to be the same color. I'm going to make it something kind of uh, brighter, to say. All right, I'm going to add this one. There we go, that's for our button. And the border. I want to show my border. All right, make it round, not round. I'll make it round. The color I want to choose. Now, this is a pretty light color. I can't really see it too much uh, for this color. So choose black, double click here. And the width, because you can't really see that too. And nothing too big, too huge, but something like that. Now the comments. The comments background you can change to. This is going to be this little box. Mm -hmm. Let's go with a much lighter. And the comment text. We want. Ah, we can do something fancy too. The same color red for the button. We'll exit out of this. And that's it for the design. And that's the comments that we created for here. We can leave comments. And you can create the new page too pretty fast. And just put this there. Uh, whichever you want. Uh, and that's it. Now you can upgrade it from the same. You can do the same here as well. So we're not quite finished with the website. Uh, I do want to change the background and totality. So I'm going to go with like the gray uh, and general. And we're going to change just a few more things. I don't see a search bar here. And if you notice, the social bar is very dark. Uh, so I'm going to actually delete the social bar for this side here because of course because it's a template it has nothing linked to it so you would have to link to it either way uh, so I'm going to delete I'm going to come down to social and I'm going to drag and drop a social bar with a same color theme uh, there's a search bar it's hard to see as well uh, I want to edit this actually a little bit. Let's change the design. All right. There we go. Now we can see it. Now we're matching it. You can also customize the search bar as well. Uh, if you, you should be familiar with this when we're doing design, especially with like text or any kind of boxes. You're going to see borders uh, as well. I'm going to make a red border for this. And I'm going to change the text. And we're going to kind of do some cool little deals here. Specific. All right. And we're going to come on down and customize again. We weren't finished. All right, the corners of it as well. We can change the corners. Hmm. Not interesting for me. The hover, uh, the focus, the background. Make it red and the input field very good and I'm going to go to regular and I'm going to go to text I'm going to go to hover again mm -hmm. and that looks great all right coming down with text we'll make it bold and italic we let that switch all right. Ah, it didn't save it for us. Uh huh. Okay. Definitely not cool. All right. So that's me that made that mistake. So we're just going to come back. We're going to go to hover. Ah, it's when we're hovering over it. Ah, my bad. And the background. We're going to change it to red as well. And regular the background. It was black because we're pre selecting it. All right. There we go. Now I changed it. There we go. All right, now I'm going to give a little bit of animation. I can give animation to this as well. And even the social media to grab that attention. So there we've done that pretty quick. All right, so coming back to pages here, let's go to about, and it should kind of be near, mm -hmm, right down here at the bottom where we moved. So, all right, there we go. 
background's cool. Uh, super about me, of course. I'm put in the center. Uh, you have all of these wonderful, wonderful options here for the comments buttons for everything here. That's our footer where you can move. You can see that they actually have uh, the social as well on here for you. So they have it at the footer at the bottom and you can have it at the top. Of course, that's their choice for the templates, but again, it's so easy to actually fix. It's not a problem. So there's so many different things to do uh, to fix all of that. You can change the footer design too. Right here, you can actually have no color uh, or you can do a customized design or just a theme uh, for you. Let's go to customize design and uh, let's, there we go, we'll choose this one. And we'll just have this right here. All right, a little bit of gray to separate from the, the heading and the footer, right? So kind of make it the same. So all of this is very easy. Uh, the comments, you see exactly how fast and easy that is. Uh, not a problem. And when we come back to home, uh, I'll show you how to manage it. So going back to home. All right, we're going to go down to our comment section that we added. And when you click, we go to settings. And now we're going to go to manage comments. They kind of give you a little uh, insight on that. All right, now this is our comments dashboard. It looks pretty familiar, right? All right. So here, the, you're the moderator. Now this plane will allow you to delete and control the comments on your website. Now you can publish a test, right? A wonderful website, I like it, right? So you can edit the comment here or reply to the comment. Uh, just to kind of show you, uh, I need to put that. I'm just going to say thanks. Thanks. All right. Put John. All right. And submit the reply. And there we go. Now, uh, you can actually make this with the mobile app. You can moderate and screen your comments uh, with the upgrade as well. Uh, but we can do this here too. Now you can vote for new features, experimental features, export to CSV file as well. So define a list of words that will automatically be blocked by the app. One word or phrase per line. Uh, so if you have a lot of bad words, you can actually block them uh, right here as well. And we can open up with editor. Mm-hmm. And a flick of a lamb's tail. All right, and now we can come scroll back down and see our comment on the page. So just moving on down, moving on down. And just give it a second to load up fully. And it's done. And that is the comments. Very fast, very easy to do, and very useful, especially with any blog site, or you can even have it with your restaurant uh, as well to kind of really showcase again with forums. This all plays one on one together. All right, guys, that is all for today. I really enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe. Follow us for more tips and tricks with Wix.com, and I will see you in the next video. All right, goodbye.